National anthem's over. We're ready for kickoff here between Chattanooga FC and Real Betis. Lucas Panzica, Simon Neal here with you on the CFC live stream. We've gotten your starting lineups. The anthems are done. It's time to play some soccer in Finley Stadium. Yeah, excitement building all over the stadium. Flags flying. Everybody's pumped up that first ball to kick to get moving. So everybody's shaking hands. And uh, things are out to get moving. It's National like, anthem's uh, over. We're ready for field, kickoff uh, here between Chattanooga FC and right. Real Betis. Simon Neal here with you. He's going to spot the CFC live stream. Dark blue home strip. Gotten your starting lineup. The anthems are done. Time to play some soccer in Finley Stadium. Nobody needs to change shirts. Everybody plays in the first team. Everybody looks good. Yeah, come to spot who's who. If you're watching black and white, that's what you're doing. How about that? Juan Hernandez will meet with the officials with Joaquin Rodriguez, the captain today for Real Betis. Was Andres Guardado against DC United, was sent home performing national team duties in Mexico. It was a 5-2 to two win for Real Betis in D.C. against the largely reserved United squad in the midst of their MLS season. Chattanooga coming out with plenty of first team members, but like we said in the pregame, Simon, a lot of new faces and a lot this team still has to do before they can gel and play together like they want to at the end of the season. We did see them gel last weekend, and I was, I was pleased to play with them in Mexico. Some you know, old faces from last year, some new faces in the largely league. reserve United Doing squad. well, actually. They are playing the Chattanooga style play. So it's uh, good to see. But uh, yeah, this will be a test. Team members, uh, like cohesion, stamina, a lot of new faces, and a lot of this team still, still has to do before they can sell and play together like they want to at the end of the season. It's pretty very exciting to watch. See just what they do and how they do. They're going to test themselves and test the teamwork and the drilling and all things they practice. That's something good to see too, a whole joint picture of the whole team, not just uh, going separate. So, uh, yeah, they'll be friendly, and that's good. Talk to Peter Fuller, assistant under Bill Elliott in his first season with the club. The six new faces that will be getting their first touches today for CFC. Looking forward to, in his words, throw them in the pool and see who swims. <laughs> that's right, absolutely. So we're looking forward to that. And uh, see how they do tonight. And that's the kind of six months they see for the rest of the season. Can you me? Get a conference through some tonight's game, they'll be in good shape. Yeah, friendly, play throughout the rest of the Talk to Peter Fuller, assistant under Bill Elliott. in the first season with the club. The six new faces that will be getting their first touches today for CFC. Looking forward to, in his words, throw them in the pool and see who's going to be on the way, folks. It's going to be one of the games we'll talk about, I'm sure, the rest of the year. Bill D'Amico will go take his spot in the net. Chattanooga will disperse. We're ready for kickoff here at Finley Stadium. So Wilshree going to get us started here. 5-4-1 formation for CFC and he'll play it back. We're ready for kickoff here at Finley Stadium. Back line with Jordan Dunstan in Chattanooga. We'll start building from there. Soren Uascheck plays it out to the right. Back in the midfield. So Wilshire going to get a start up here. Trying to get the ball through the ball. Through ball, ball flag goes, goes up. Clear offside, yeah. Back. Max was uh, several feet offside there. So, uh, Back right. line with Jordan Dunstan in sure Chattanooga. We'll start building from there. Soren Uascheck plays well. it out to the right. Now Real Betis, their first offensive touches, building from the back line, as CFC did. Through ball, flag goes up. Clearly a little slow at the moment, we're just getting used to the pace of the field, especially fresh and water turf. One thing we're out of the water, maybe a bit more hewing as the water dries and comes off the surface. Captain Joaquin has it in the middle. For Captoum. Their first offensive touch is building from the back line. There's a reception there from uh, Valenciana. Through the ball away. Let's read on that one. Through ball, flag goes up. So it'll be a Betis throw in here. Inside the first two minutes of this one. Real Betis. Playing on the back line. That's in the middle. For Captoum. Cine getting his first touches, the Brazilian international. It's played across midfield. Here's Captum. Out near the right side. Guarded by Miachi. 
Ball played out of bounds. We'll stay at Real Betis throw. Real Betis. Playing on the back line. Put in play, chested down. Real Betis getting the majority of the touches here. We're two minutes in. Okay, getting his first touches, the Brazilian international. Out wide left for Christian Teo. Teo, the Spanish 27 year old. Pressure by Caleb Cole has to play it across. Here's Captum. Touched by Loden. Loden looking to go over the top. Flag stays down. A touch and a finish. What a save by Phil D'Amico on the left handed touch by Sergio Leon. They better just didn't press on that one. They could have pressed on those four. They didn't. As the first real attempt by Betis today in D'Amico. Go over the top. Flag stays down. A touch and a finish. What a save! By Phil D'Amico on the left-handed touch. By Sergio Leon. D'Amico clears it all the way to his goalkeeping compatriot. Joel starting in goal today for Real Betis. Been a few years at Everton in the Premier League before coming to Betis, where it's his first full season. Just concluded in La Liga. Back to the left back. Sine. Teo near the left sideline. Tries to touch a pass Cole. It's stolen away. Juan Costa will play it back. Juan Sanchez. Back to Costa. Costa. A deep touch to get around Garcia. Puts it on the left side. Chattanooga playing near the sideline. Back to the left back. And putting it back for Juan Sanchez. Sanchez under pressure turns, gets it to Dunstan. Near the left sideline. Tries to touch a pass. Back on the left wing to Miachi. Little one two, and Miachi unable to track it down. And Costa does. Costa's on it. Costa's Miachi going in, but it's getting deep touch to get around. See, out of bounds, a goal kick for Real Betis. So Chattanooga stringing together a few passes. Interesting idea there. Come on. Played out to the left for Cine. And we'll go back to Christian Tate. Under pressure, turns, gets it to Dunstan. Back in the midfield with Javi Garcia. Little one, two, and Miachi unable to track it down. And Costa does. The second of two games on an American tour before they head back to Spain tomorrow. Chattanooga's bringing together a few passes. He didn't catch the result of the first game. They played DC United in DC, of course, and beat them 5 2. So we're. Waiting to see what happens tonight. Be a repeat of that, or something different. Um, but uh, yeah, interesting game to play, and uh, we had a good, good crowd there too. Eleven thousand people for that game, so uh, good turnout. Had a good long ball. Fidal, a deep ball, looking in the left corner for Christian Teo. He gets the touch to keep it in bounds. Head to head with Caleb Cole. Teo loses track of it. Out of bounds. Chattanooga throw. So Cole, the midfielder, will throw it in for his captain Hernandez. Hernandez touches it in for Miachi, looking for the one-two, oh. and it drops loose to Leon. Leon puts it inside the oh. penalty spot. It's cleared out by Dunstan. Jordan Dunstan on that one very quick. We'll leave that. Betis back in the play very fast. Very quickly with Joaquin back to Teo. You can already see the speed of the Spanish side, and Javi Garcia mm -hmm. will switch the field to Mark Bartra. Back to Garcia. He's pressured by Hernandez. Tries to flick it over the top again, but it finds the head of Cole. Drops to the feet of Joaquin. Joaquin plays it left to Teo. Teo thinks about the cross, pulls it back. Cold pressures, he'll go back to the top of the box. More pressure from Miachi, but getting loose is Garcia, and now he'll lose it to his own teammate. Played out left again to Teo. Teo pressured by Cole, finds Joaquin. See, he got knocked there. Play, 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 go on. Advantage, back to Zufedal on the back line. The Moroccan international plays it back left to Teo. Real Betis working that left side. Javi Garcia. Garcia tries to touch it, but it's stolen away by Hernandez, and now Chattanooga may be on a break. A two on three here, now Joan Costa's loose on the left side, but Hernandez threads it through the middle. Will Street attempts a shot, it's wide right. First shot of the game, and uh, goes to Chattanooga just uh, to the right side of the post. Will Street and Hernandez combining very nicely there. Well, Juan Hernandez had two options there. Juan Costa streaking in wide mm -hmm. left, but he decided to go down the middle, playing a perfect ball to Max Wilshree. Yeah, the crowd certainly appreciated that. So we're still scoreless here, six and a half minutes in. On the back line with Fidal. 
We'll go back to Joaquin. Joaquin touches it upfield. Plays it inside. It's stolen away by Miachi. Chattanooga will look to counter. Miachi will play it down the sideline. It's too far for Wilshire. Interesting move that Miachi looking up intelligently passing the ball to Wilshire, but uh, speed not on his side that time. But again, interesting moves. Like I said, the, the midfield is actually attacking midfielders too and pushing the ball out. Miachi pressuring Joaquin, but Joaquin able to get away and play it to the right. Coming down the right side, touching it now is Loren. Loren tries to go in the box, it's closed down by Dunstan, and Miachi cleans it up to Costa. Juan Costa turns away from a defender, headed to the right side of the field where we play it for Hernandez. And now Caleb Cole, right sideline, try to put one over the top for Will Street, flag will go up. Second offside today by Chattanooga. Let's give you a lot of offsides today, Lucas. That's the, uh, we said early before the game, the long ball is going to be Chattanooga's best chance of getting, a, just getting one in the net. Well, Max Wilshere from Bremen, Germany, stormed onto the Chattanooga scene, two goals in his debut in the 2-2 draw with Greenville. Nothing would endear him more to this fan base mm -hmm. than putting one in the back of the net against the Spanish Giants. Here's the captain, Joaquin, double teamed by Hernandez and Miachi, able to get a through ball into the box. Loren trying to beat it to the goal line, and he does, but plays it back for CFC defense, and it's a bad ball, and a one-touch ball played in is too far. Now Caleb Cole will track it down and clear it out. But it'll stay in play. Signe will be able to keep possession for Real Betis. Most of the action from the this half of the field, can move this half. Apart from the old break, which is going to be this side of the field. Chris plays it in for Kaptum. The decent possession with Loren. Now Emerson handling it. Back to Loren, back to Emerson. They'll go back to Bartra. Nice turn by Kaptum, but he loses it to Valenciano. Juan Hernandez tries to play one ahead for Costa. It's intercepted. And now here's Real Betis on a possible counter chance. Joaquin in a nice slide from Caleb Cole takes away the possession. She cleans up Hernandez. Back line for Chattanooga, Ruben Morillas will play it back to his goalkeeper. And it's Phil D'Amico playing it. <laughs> Out of bounds on the left sideline. Too much on that one. Uh, there too is, uh, steady pressure so far in the first 10 minutes or so. Javi Garcia goes to Emerson, back to Garcia, and he'll drop it back one more time for Emerson. Back to the midfield spot. Played over the top and then out of bounds. Christian Teo, no, the header kept it in. And Sidney it it chests it down, gets away from a double team. Miachi with the pressure. And it's back with Sine and Christian Teo. Teo, the 27-year-old Spanish international, plays one to Joaquin. Left side, Joaquin looking for an angle for the cross. Instead, he'll play it top of the box. It's touched by Kaptum, he'll play it to the right. Garcia, ball intercepted by Chattanooga. CFC, a possible counter chance here with Juan Costa. Costa drops it off. And it's Caleb Cole handling it for Chattanooga. Daniel Valenciano. Play it back for Juan Sanchez out to Jordan Dunstan. Sanchez. Morias. Cross midfielder Hernandez. It's stolen away by Betis. Christian Teo looking to go between the legs of Hernandez and gets it back. Kaptum, a sliding challenge from Miachi. Batiste players want a foul. They don't get it. Hernandez keeps possession. Play Plays one. Costa. Joel Costa, Chattanooga with a chance here. Costa shot from the top of the box. Wow. Chattanooga FC. Wow. 1-0. A 1-0 lead inside 12 minutes. It's David 1, Goliath nothing. <laughs> I can't believe it. Wow. Joel Costa striking that ball so well. Chattanooga's going absolutely mental. And the NPSL side leads the La Liga team here in America. 
One to nothing the score. 11.43 on the clock. The assist from Juan Hernandez into João Costa doing what he does best. Costa in his second season with Chattanooga FC, the Brazilian might have just notched the most memorable goal of his short career here. I think you're right, pretty much. <laughs> that was a classic Chattanooga move, really. Just getting in between the defenders and Costa turning atop the 18-yard box, getting the shot away. And I'm surprised they did not shut that down. I'm really surprised Batiste did not respond to that and have him, you know, just outnumbered. Amazing. Now Real Batiste trailing one nothing. We'll see how the Spanish side responds. Come on, CFC. One nil up over a La Liga team. It's incredible. Keep watching, folks. This is going to be great. <laughs> on the back line, Fadal. 14 caps for the Moroccan national team, anchoring the back four for Real Betis today. Takes a touch across midfield, plays it over the top. It's a good ball, but too strong, gathered by D'Amico. And D'Amico pushing his team upfield instead. A slow roller to Juan Sanchez. Chattanooga will attempt to build from the back. A nice lead. That dummy from Valenciano. Very stylish. Leaves it for Cole. And it's back to Valenciano who fires that's one down the right sideline for Costa. Costa had a break. Flag goes up. That's, uh, that's a team playing with confidence, Lucas. When they do that kind of thing. They, they've got their tails up and they're playing. They're enjoying it now. I think that's really taken the pressure off. That first goal was just changed everything. And now Chattanooga. Maybe another opportunity for a counter. Juan Hernandez will play it left. Got having to track it down. Got Miachi on the left wing. Miachi's near the corner. Thought about the cross instead. To Torres. Leave it for Torres. Yeah, Torres yeah, takes yeah, it to the goal line out of bounds. That crossed the line. Torres is very good in the game against uh, Greenville too. He was really making a nuisance himself on the left wing. And I think he's going to do the same again tonight and get the chance. One of those newer faces, the Brazilian yeah, native. He's really, really enjoyed watching him play so far. Versatile player, the University of D.C., midfield and defense. Today, he's a part of that five-man defensive line for CFC. Chattanooga leads 1-0. We're inside 15 minutes. Betis playing on the right sideline with Emerson. Emerson, long ball, flips the field, looking for Teo, and ends up at the feet of Caleb Cole. Cole touches it away from the Spaniard, taking it to the corner. Space. Under pressure, <laughs> Teo gets it back. Puts it in play for Sidney. Sidney has time on the ball. We'll play it across for Emerson. Emerson will have one and it deflects off a CFC defender out of bounds. And they'll say it's a Chattanooga goal kick. Yeah, it was a goal kick. Got under that one, hit it far too high. So Phil D'Amico will line it up. A starter since 2018 for this team. Played for Bill Elliott at West Florida. And he boots it across midfield. Getting ahead on it is Valenciano. Will should be trying to get something going, but it's, it's back to the keeper. But yeah, interesting play. Again, much more confident play from Chattanooga. Not just uh, sitting back as we thought they might do. Juan Costa. Costa's able to get away from Garcia. I think Costa's speed is surprising, Bittis. Use his speed, beat yes. Sidney with it, trying to play it squarely across the goal, and Sidney closed it down. Yeah. Corner kick for Chattanooga, first one of the game. I think that's intentional to win the corner there. That was a smart play from Costa. I think we're not used to Costa's speed at this level. They're expecting him to be slower players or a semi-pro, and Costa is so quick. He, he's as quick as a, uh, you know, other league player. And they're just not used to that until they're like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> so, yeah, great play so far. Corner kick will come with the CFC fans right behind the flag. And it will come from Daniel Valenciano. Actually, that's Torres now. Torres, Valenciano excuse me. Those heights in the middle of the box. That's what he does there. Torres whips Torres it in with the left foot. Looking for a head on it. It's put in the air by Betis and an attempted clearance. Will come down to the feet of Hernandez. Hernandez puts it in the box. A one-two with Miachi. Back to Hernandez. Flag goes up. But he's so good at playing those offside traps. That's, that's one of the differences between a pro team and a, a semi-pro. They just really work on that stuff. Very aware of themselves spatially in the box. 
Here's Christian Teo. Let's move on Costa, plays it to the right. Kaptum has a man coming down to his right on the sideline. He'll pull it back with Miachi in front. Here's Javi Garcia. Plays it, but a heavy touch, well recovered by Joaquin. Ball played across now for Teo. He'll take the touch. Caleb Cole's the defender. Teo, touch inside, puts it in the box, and a clearance by Dunstan. Ball still in play in the 18. It's headed out by Morias. Amazing from Jordan Dunstan there. Sidney keeps possession for Betis, puts it in play. Teo, the left foot across the net. D'Amico oh, closes it down. Well held by D'Amico. Good anticipation there. And now a player down for Real Betis. Looks like it's Sidney, the Brazilian. Good move there by Betis, too. Dangerous play. Putting it across the box, left and right. Very good stuff. So, watch this replay. Nice touch there. And then D'Amico slightly behind it. Really cool shot. So it'll take a slight break, resets. So it, it is Sidney down near the penalty spot. 29 year old Brazilian in his second season with Betis on loan from Atletico Mineiro in Brazil. He'll be helped up. Looks like he'll stay in the game. I think he's okay, just got a knock. Will be three substitution periods in this one. You can sub as many players as you like, but can only send them to the line three times during the entirety of the game. No re-entries in this friendly. So D'Amico pushing his team forward. And this time he'll boot it upfield. Fernandez tries to flick it on for a teammate. It ends up knocked out by Real Betis. No, it's off of Chattanooga. Teo puts it in for Garcia. Back to Teo. Across the field for Mark Bartra. Pulls it back. It's at the feet of Fidal. Now Joaquin. Slow rolling ball across the midfield. It's on the right sideline with Emerson. Emerson touches it inside. Nice ball in for Joaquin. He'll have a go at it. Sliding challenge from Valenciano. Closed it down. Good block. Good read of the situation there. So Hernandez and Wilshree trying to get something going. Hernandez beats Bartra, puts it in play. Wilshree. Streaks away. He's That's on nice. the move. He's got two men to beat, and we'll have to take a touch and pull it back. Here's Miachi. Miachi will have a go at it. Right at the goalkeeper. Chattanooga, another shot on target. Nice shot for Miachi. Leading one to nothing. Miachi, another new face for this club. A player that this coaching staff expects to emerge, Simon. Clean on the ball, a positive effect mm -hmm. on everyone around him. I would say so, too. Again, his experience in the J-League is really going to pay off. Now a ball in. Look at that move. Taking a touch. And closed down again by D'Amico. Good save. Oh, D'Amico, what a play, sir. Pretty that was good. Leon with the chance, and D'Amico has had a good game so far. Chattanooga still holding a 1-0 lead. So back with Jordan Dunstan. Long ball from D'Amico. Yeah. Offside flag does go up. Sydney quickly putting it down for Christian Teo. Garcia, the 32-year-old Spaniard. And outside the foot ball in from Mark Bartra is too strong for Emerson. It's out of bounds, Chattanooga ball. Slides out for a goal kick at Chattanooga. So, but he's been very patient here. They're building up. They're not worrying about being a goal down because they know they can turn up the speed if they need to. So they're uh, waiting for that crack in the CFC defense and they want to test the keeper a couple of times. They've done, see how he does. So. Well, in Washington, it was Batiste taking a 2-0 lead before United was able to get on the board. Oh, that's right. They uh, scored at halftime. They were two up with goals from Loren and uh, Sergio Leon. And uh, so, you know, they really had the, had the momentum there at the first half of that game. So far, I haven't seen that. They had a few chances, nothing that Phil D'Amico can't handle. But they're, they're being patient. They're not rushing. Mark Barta. To his left back, Sidney. 
A lot of touches early on here mm -hmm. in the 22nd minute. Prishanteo puts it back across for Bartra. It's on the right sideline with Emerson. Back to Bartra on the back line. Long ball flipping the field. Teo can't get the touch and they'll call it out. Chattanooga ball. Yeah, that call was giving uh, Teo a hard time down there. But uh, they keep playing the same ball to him each time and of course the Kato call has worked that out and so he's very really anticipated. Um, I see him get a bit more variety perhaps. Well, when you talk to Bill Elliott about some of the players that may suffer the most shock, for lack of a better term, right. Caleb Cole, his experience at Gordon College. Gordon Dalston streaking through, <laughs> getting a break of his own all the way back from the, back from the defense. In the back with Fidel. It's surprised to see Bedisley in quite as much space between their players, because Chattanooga were taking advantage of that and going in the gaps. Twenty-fourth minute at Finley Stadium, Javi Garcia looking to press into the final third. Emerson touches it past Morias and Jordan Dunstan, another clearance. Jordan Dunstan so solid at the back. It's always great to see him playing there. A Real Batiste throw in. Dunstan in his fifth season with Chattanooga FC, spent last season in Nashville. Canadian native. And they're going to line up a free kick for Betis here. Set piece. Let's see what they do with this set piece. First one of the day for the Spanish side. Everybody's in the last third of the field here. If you look at the, in the big picture, they're all around the Chattanooga box. Chattanooga is taking any chances of the defense here. Even Wilshire is back to make a one man wall. Ball played in. It's on the ground at the penalty spot, and it's closed down by Miachi. Getting the shot off was Leon. So again, the attack stifled there, very handily. It was a perfectly squared up ball on the set good. piece. Yeah, it was very good. Something obviously worked on before they came here. That was good. So, all right, back in the play field, Miko once again. One nothing Chattanooga was the goal in the 12th minute by Juan Costa that got us started here. Assist from Juan Hernandez. If you're just joining us. Long ball headed in the air and settled by Murias. Tries to play it down the left sideline. It's intercepted and now hopping and shaking up is Emerson. Looks like he uh, turned his ankle on that one. As we were saying, these players have played a whole season, so they probably have uh, you know, a higher chance of hurting themselves if they've worn their legs, arms and legs and joints out playing so much. So uh, chance they're going to catch their breath in this one. Emerson, the young Brazilian, only 20 year old. Only four appearances for Betis in La Liga this season. Getting the start today on the right wing. It's played in for the Spanish side. Mark Bartra will control. Sidney. Let's the pressure come from Costa. Little one two with Christian Teo and now Javi Garcia. On the right side with Bartra. Looking for the long ball and he's gonna That's send it to the corner with nobody there. Across the goal line for a goal kick. I expect a little accuracy out of the La Liga players in there. Maybe they're tired, maybe they are tired. I mean they've been traveling and stuff on this trip. Who knows? Maybe they are not quite as sharp as they'd like to be. Valenciano yeah. looks to take the top off and Wilshire right. wasn't ready for it. <laughs> You're right there. Here's Fidel. Plays it across midfield, Javi Garcia. Garcia, slow rolling ball, intercepted by Hernandez. Again, a good read there from Hernandez. Play and it's Miachi. Who's he got? Wilshere. Three defenders around him. He gives Wilshire, and now it's on the left sideline. It's Torres again, yeah, on, the, on the left wing. Torres touching it past the Betis defenders at the feet of Miachi. Valenciano, who's he got open? Torres again. 
Back to Torres. Emerson closes him down. It's back on the back line. Chandler are trying to build with him, but being cautious, not, uh, not rushing. Well, so much for sitting back, Simon. Well, that's right, Lucas. <laughs> that's what we expected. As D'Amico goes and left sideline and it's kept in play, no. It'll be a throw in. Yeah, I said their confidence is way up. They look really confident. So, that's the way they're playing right now and uh, makes for a good game. I think we have an official water break. We will. So, uh, but while we have a moment here, yeah. Chattanooga, Go the ahead. process of bringing Real Betis mm -hmm. to East Tennessee. Right. Sheldon Grizzle at Soccer X in Miami running into a Real Betis representative talking about an exhibition. Mm -hmm. He approached Grizzle right. knowing that Chattanooga FC does these exhibitions mm -hmm. in Real Betis looking for a more international footprint. Right. Now this is no minnow of a Spanish club. They were oh, no. fourth in attendance in La Liga this season mm -hmm. behind the three that you would guess. Right. Barcelona, Real Madrid, yeah. Atletico Madrid. Exactly. Found the big names. So it's a really big name team to have here. It's, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's like having you know, Arsenal and Chelsea, one of the teams who finished you know, right. fourth and fifth this year. So it's, it's as big as that. Yeah. For those of you who follow the Premiership, or you know, having Dortmund here, or somebody really big. So it's huge. It's great. There's a round of 32 exit in the Europa mm -hmm. League by Betis, eliminated by Rene, the French side. Right. Of course, Betis have run the, the Copa del Rey twice in. Uh, 977-2005, and they won La Liga way back in 1935, and uh, looking to hopefully do that again sometime soon, but, uh, but just some more, more recent you know, victories and uh, more recent trophies. But they're certainly a team to enjoy watching. They're always up there in the mix in Spanish soccer, and they're often there in the UEFA Cup too. So uh, certainly a team to watch. Um, if you follow European soccer a lot, this is, this is a team you will see popping up quite a bit. Uh, not necessarily getting the glory, but certainly popping up a lot. And it's always yeah, great to watch teams like this. You can learn so much from watching if you, you know, a player yourself. There's a lot to learn the way they, they play, the way they set the team up. And uh, different style for the American game, too. The, uh, the European game is, you know, uh, slower than faster. It speeds up, slows down, speeds up, slows down. Uh, and you'll see a lot of that, too. So this is, uh, yeah. Great to watch on many levels. Purely entertainment level is very good too. Well, we talk about how unique of an experience it is, of course, for the CFC team, but for a lot of these players, Real mm -hmm. Betis, their first time in the United States. Right. Got a chance to catch up with Jose Calderon down there in the warm ups, and for him and most of this team, mm -hmm. it's the first time on American soil okay. and seeing a grassroots soccer team mm -hmm. here in East Tennessee right. has been. About as unique an experience for them as CFC going up against a Spanish La Liga side. Exactly, and it, it's open, the European teams don't know much about what's happening in, in American soccer. So it's uh, outside of MLS, and they're not sure there's much else going on. But of course there is, but they don't know that. So it's it's good for them to see that, and then uh, yeah, it's good, it's good for both teams to play this kind of friendly game. Well, we're back in play after the water break, and it'll be Emerson. Yeah, everybody back to where they were just about. Thirtieth minute here, Chattanooga. A one nothing lead on the Juan Costa finish. Keep saying that. I like to hear that. One nothing lead to Chattanooga. I like to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Left wing for Teo. Been battling Caleb Cole. And this young game puts a move on and squares it up in net. Penalty kick. Oh. Penalty spot, I should say. And the finish oh. is botched by Captoum. Coming in to clean it up was Emerson. Right into the hands of Phil D'Amico. Wow, I bet Captoum's not happy with that one. He completely missed it. Wow. Might have been the best chance so far today for Betis. Katum couldn't get the right, right foot on it. I think you're right. Christian Teo has been so dangerous down that left side. As a long ball is won by Betis. Chattanooga getting it back. And now it's Joaquin touching it past Morias and earns a foul. Yeah, Betis just want any little gap they can when they get through it. It's a real lesson in ball control. Anticipation of movement, so it's, it's just great to see. I'm going to play it quickly, and it's back with Mark Bartra. So I hear Fidal. Left side for Sydney. Teo. Ball in for Joaquin. He's pressured by Morias. Morias on very hard there. It will be off Betis in a Chattanooga throw. Chested back to Cole from Costa. 
Plays it deep for Hernandez. Just Hernandez nice. somehow touching it past Fidal. Back, but, yeah, number four gets a yellow card. And he earns a free kick, and we've got our first Fidal booking of tonight's gets game. Booking for definitely putting Hernandez back. It will be Fidal. I don't know why I think we could get away with that because it was right in front of the referee. So the Moroccan international booked in the 32nd minute, tugging on Hernandez' yeah. jersey across midfield. Chattanooga will line up a free kick here just around the circle. Juan Sanchez. Deep ball to the right for João Costa. will track it down before it reaches the goal line. Sidney tries to touch it past. Didn't quite get the sport there, did he, to some of the passing too. Ends up back at the feet of Sine, and now ball played back to the goalkeeper. Hernandez, Hernandez is there, making it a nervy moment for the Betis defense. Making a nuisance of himself there. Betis being sloppy, I thought, at the back there, Lucas. Not so quite sharp, they should have been. Now uh, Hernandez giving them a taste of their own medicine, perhaps, and getting in there and uh, sneaking the ball off when they got their you know, defense down. So. Back with Christian Teo. And on the back line for Fidal, working with the yellow card. Fidal, letting it go was Joaquin and touched back to the goalkeeper by Juan Sanchez. It's cleared out by D'Amico, back to midfield where it's headed in and Valenciano trades headers with Fidal. It'll end up back at the feet of Joel. Sidney touches it to Garcia back to Fidal statistically Real Betis fourth in La Liga excuse me first in La Liga in possession as Loren is unable to touch it to Joaquin and it's stolen away by Chattanooga here's Morias playing it back to D'Amico a little bit of pressure able to clear it out staying calm all the time and again a collision at midfield, no collision, foul. Collision or a push. We'll go with a collision on Will Street. <laughs> Fidal with the yellow card, making contact with Max Wilshire. Only took Wilshire six minutes to get his first goal, NPSL goal, I should say, mm -hmm. of his Chattanooga career. I was in a 2-2 draw against Greenville last week. Yeah, Max said he'd try and get two more. This didn't let him go, but I asked him about it. I was like, okay, hope he can do it. <laughs> Maybe he will surprise us. Only the 35th minute. He has time as he Hernandez does. He does. miscommunicates with Morias, playing a ball out of bounds. Will be a Sydney throw in for Betis. Back to Garcia, the captain today for the Spaniards. Plays it across. Here's Capdome. Now Emerson. The Brazilian touches it back to Capdome. Joaquin, back to Fidal. Betty stringing together a possession here. It's Sidney, lifts it into the box and looking to flick it on was Leon and it's gathered by D'Amico with no issue. Overhand throw intended. I think Leon really got a touch on that. I think he meant to. He didn't really right. get as much power on that as he meant to. So it didn't really bother Phil D'Amico too much. Gabriel Torres throwing it in for Chattanooga. 10, 170 pound, 23 year old out of Brazil. I think the last, puts it into play. Last 10 minutes of the first half. Chattanooga still got the lead. And uh, growing confidence, I think, as each minute passes. Look at that, it's a Kayla Cole unmarked on the far side. Here's Cole. Puts it over the top. Oh, Will Shree. Just too much for Walshree. A nice move from Kayla Cole. Just a bit too much on it. It's back with Javi Garcia. Joaquin, the captain, plays it across and it's stolen away by Hernandez. Here's Miachi touching it back to Juan. Now who's Miachi? Plays it forward for Miachi. Who's he got? Who's he got? Chattanooga playing oh, it in for Wilshire. Wilshire. Wilshire might have a chance here, trying to touch it inside, and it's Fidal no closing foul. it down. No foul, no foul call there. Top of the box will play on. It's back with Sidney, the left back. 
Joaquin has Teo on the left side. Will elect to touch it inside. Now he goes to Teo. Back with Sidney. Emerson wants the ball on the far side of the field. We'll put it right in the middle to Garcia. Back to Joaquin. Guarded by Valenciano. Touches it past him and a double team results in a turnover forced by Chattanooga as Modias closes down. Leon, who Leon is down, down on the ground. Acting like he was uh, poleaxed and actually, I'm not sure he was. Modias knocked him, but I don't think he did. Let's watch the replay. Um, Might have seen a little arm flicking to the back I from Modias. Sure Might have that, caught a piece of him. He's caught him on the, the trainers, but... Uh, I'm not sure the, the injury warrants the amount of play acting because Maria's turned away from him. But oh. we'll see. Sergio Leon on the ground grew up in the Betis Youth Academy. Previously at Osasuna in Spain. Has been at Betis since 2017 with the first team. 11 goals and 47 appearances for the Spaniard. Treat him off the field. The referee's gonna let that play go on when he gets treatment. 39th minute here in Finley Stadium. It's Chattanooga one, Real Betis nil. Sure, got a knock, a sort of knock on the face, but uh, not sure that one. Anyway, so Leon will be helped off, he's and a, no substitution here he's yet a, from he's Betis. Walk on his own own power, so it can't be too bad. So. So we'll be put back into play with a Betis throw. And Christian Teo puts it in for Joaquin, who's just going to roll it back to D'Amico. Phil D'Amico. And Leon's back on, so he's not too badly hurt. A deep drive by the goalkeeper, and it's touched back to Garcia by Wilshree. A lot of these Betis attacks have stemmed from the left side. That time, Teo playing it directly to the feet of Valenciano. Back with Caleb Cole. Under pressure, gets away back to Valenciano. Spins away from Loren, plays it across the field. Yeah, kicks out Torres on the far side, who's always ready to make that break on the left leg. Here's Soren Juszczyk. I'm sorry, Juan Sanchez. <laughs> and Juan Hernandez plays it down the left side. Over the top for Wilshire. Wilshire might have a chance here. Flicks oh. it with the outside of the boot. Wide right. Chattanooga, another attempt. Wow, they just touched it right across the goal. What a good move. And how about that ball in from Very the good. Japanese international? Fabulous from, from Genki. Genki Miyachi, it's that presence on yeah. the ball, calm, cool, and collected that excites Watch Bill Elliott. Play. Oh, I can't get hold of it. Great play. Now ball played in here for Leon. Leon appears to be okay. It means, uh, yep, yeah, back to his old self, which is good. Trying to find the angle on the cross. Ends up putting it in, but nobody there. It's cleared out by Valenciano. Touchdown by Costa. Back at the feet of Sydney. Flicks it on for Garcia. Garcia splits the Chattanooga defenders, and he gets tripped. Yep. We'll have a free kick here in a dangerous area. Very dangerous at the top of the D there. One they practice on the uh, training field, so uh, good opportunity for Beth East to put something into practice they uh, do all the time. Let's see what happens here. Joaquin will line it up. A 37-year-old captain scored a goal to make it 2 nothing at Barcelona in the 34th minute. It was a 4-3 win at Camp Nou. See if Joaquin has a go at it here. Referee's setting the players 10 yards back. Let's see what we got. Joaquin puts it on target. No, it's wide right past the reaching gloves of Phil D'Amico. Straight on the goal there, the D'Amico at full stretch and covered it very nicely. It went just past the right hand post. So D'Amico will line it up for the goal kick. 
danger averted for Chattanooga FC with the uh, half-time whistle looming large. 42nd minute, yeah. CFC looking to take the one nothing lead into the locker room. Heck yeah, I'll take that anytime. That's really good. It's on the back line with Fidal. Out wide to Teo as he crosses midfield. Juan Costa coming in for pressure. Back to Sydney, who touches it to Fidal. Sydney with some space. Uh, didn't quite work out, did it? That was a nice give and go, and uh, did not work out to a bit of a, a bit of rough sea, perhaps, from just you know, being at the end of the season. Some tired legs, maybe. Didn't quite work out. Surprised to see that. Well, and jet lag has been an issue for this team well, and a reason we were talking yes. pre-game right. for the early start. Exactly, yes, yes. And the, the jet lag can be an issue for teams that aren't used to coming to the States. Ruben Morias in his first season with CFC plays it to Juan Hernandez, back to Morias. Morias the Spaniard. Entry away, but again, there's that flag up. Borsha is not giving up. He wants to get on that score sheet. You know he does. 43rd minute, long ball played deep by Fidal, and it's headed back towards the goal line by Juan Sanchez. There will be no free kick. Yeah. Leon disagrees. Yeah, referee's not buying that from Leon. Nice touch. Bartra clears it away. It's rolling towards the goal line where D'Amico will keep it in play. 44th minute here, nearing the halftime whistle at Finley Stadium. See a few minutes of extra time, but not too much. D'Amico will have to pick it up, play it out to Dunstan. Dunstan. Nice ball, but nobody there. But the intention was good. <laughs> Be interesting to see the changes both teams make at the halftime break. Right. Could be some fresh legs. Christian Teo putting a move on Cole. will touch it past him and use his speed. Looking for the angle to cross, and he'll stop it at the goal line. Cole slides in with the tackle. Taylor able to recover. Clearly not phased by playing against a professional at all. Taylor Cole just sticks into him and breaks the ball off him. Sydney, ball in. Joaquin flicks it on and it's cleared out by Chattanooga. Ruben Morias got in there. Out for a corner. Will be a corner kick for Vettis. Good clearance. Looking to equalize before halftime. 45th minute, Chattanooga trying to hang on. It's Joaquin Rodriguez, the captain. Referee trying to settle things down in the box. There's a bit of pushing and shoving. Just let every player in the Chattanooga FC box play short. Back to Joaquin. And he pulls it back and he's fouled. That's Daniel Valenciano. Get a word for the referee. And now Betis, a chance to put it into play from a better spot. A little bit of frustration with young Valenciano there. But no card. Only seen one booking so far today was yeah. Fidal on a challenge on Juan Hernandez near midfield. I think Joaquin's had worth check fouls now. <laughs> Seems to be okay. Joaquin, 14 goals in his 123 appearances with Betis in La Liga. Try to drive it in for the Spanish side. We're in extra time of the first half. Joaquin drives it in, headed out by Hernandez. At the top of the box, a one-touch volley is wide left, and it'll be a goal kick for D'Amico. That was Emerson with the attempt. Yes, Emerson has a couple of those in the box, but each one he hasn't been able to do anything with. He's had a couple of those volleys and going for a dramatic goal, but they just haven't, uh, haven't worked out for him this time around. Emerson, one of the players looking to make an impression. 20-year-old on loan from Mineiro in Brazil. Only four appearances with Betis in La Liga this season. And we're in extra time of the first half. D'Amico, not in too much of a rush as he boots it to midfield. Absolutely. You want to go into the, into the locker room at half-time in the lead. That would be an amazing feeling for Chattanooga. Just touched out of play by Torres and Betis. We'll try an opportunity to string together some passes here as a foul right at midfield by Torres will give them another set piece. Crowd's in good voice tonight. They're really getting behind the team. 
that really is a big boost for them too, having the crowd all on their side, making so much noise. And the players always say it's like the 12th man. And uh, tonight's a perfect example of that. It's really kept the team, you know, confident in playing cohesively as a, you know, as a side. Khartoum to Fidal. Sydney. To Teo back to Sydney. Looking to tee it up with the right foot, and he does. Sends it in. A high-flying header from Jordan Dunstan. Clears it away. Will there be time for a corner kick goal here for Real Betis? Jordan Dunstan's there, the man of the hour again. <laughs> Six foot two, 215 pound frame. Clears it out, and Betis were two minutes into extra time. Looking to equalize on a corner. Played it short the last time around on the left side. Now it'll be driven in. Looking for a head on it, and they find one. It's at the feet oh. of Leon, and he finishes it off. Nice turn from Leon. The equalizer from Real Betis comes in the dying moments of the first half. And Sergio Leon ties it up with a short range volley on a corner kick. Yeah, nice turn. Nobody on him. Tons of space to turn, and nothing but the back of the net for that one. So CFC got off to a roaring start, a 12th minute goal by Juan Costa. On the assist from Hernandez, gave Chattanooga the lead, and then... It's the 48th minute equalizer from Sergio Leon. Referee will blow for half time pretty soon. Might have been the final kick of this it half. It may have been, let's see how much time the referee adds on. It's put into play by Wilshree, and it's with Valenciano. Cole puts it on the back line, and there's the whistle. That's it. After 45, it's Chattanooga 1, Betis 1. Simon, thoughts on the first half? How about that? Better than DC being two down in the first half when they uh, play Betis. Chattanooga are holding on one all. Pretty amazing stuff, really. So, uh, good game. Lots of attacking. Didn't see... Uh, Chattanooga sit back, I thought they might do, and uh, they came out fine. The conference is way up there, and they're playing really well. And uh, I know it's got to do them good for the rest of the season. But yeah, good game. Uh, enjoyable to watch. Betis being patient, finding the gaps. Chattanooga doing the same thing. They're getting the break. They're getting the shots on goal. I think Chattanooga got more shots on goal than Betis, actually. So yeah, great to watch, and uh, everything you could hope for, really, in a great game of this caliber. Um, even though it's a friendly, there's still a lot, a lot of stake, and we want to, you know, have a lot of pride to look after here, both teams. So I think Betis wants to suffer any kind of a draw or loss against a, a small team like Chattanooga. Well, as we set the scene in the words from Coach Bill Elliott, right. he said, right. we know the reality, mm -hmm. we're going to park the bus, we're going to play five in the back. It yeah. didn't feel like that kind of game through the first 45. Not at all. What, with the first goal, the conference really went up, and uh, so Chattanooga got the first real shot on goal. Uh, we were really just striking it past the post, and then Costa's goal out of nothing with that assist from Hernandez. And uh, yeah, Chattanooga's confidence went way up. You can see it go up. And they played well all the way through the, the first half. It's been very good to watch. No real sign of a, one team dominating over the other. Again, you said the stats favor Betis possession, um, but nevertheless, 11 on goals. So do the stats mean as much as scoring a goal? <laughs> well, when you take a look at the La Liga table, number one in possession, 10th yeah. in the standings. That's it, that's what I mean. So, you know. The, the, the stats are great, but at the end of the day, it's about goals, and uh, we're tied with a team from multiple layers behind them, so it's, uh, it's very cool to see that. So, great for the fans. I know you're enjoying it at home. It's been great to watch so far. Uh, we've got another 45 minutes of great stuff coming up. We're going to take a break for about 15 minutes, so uh, don't go away, folks, and uh, refresh your glasses, and uh, put on the kettle, have a cup of tea, and uh, be ready for the second half. Lucas and I'll be back very soon. Do not go away.
Ready for a fresh 45 at Finley Stadium where it's one to one between Chattanooga FC and Real Betis. Started off with a 12 minute strike from Juan Costa and then the equalizer from Sergio Leon on a corner kick. Drew the Spanish side even and we're all knotted up as we begin the second half. Lucas Panzica, Simon Neal with you. Appreciate you joining us on this ChattanoogaFC.com live stream. And Simon, we talked about this game as though Chattanooga would be lucky to be losing by three goals at the break. <laughs> they take a lead. It's a That's tied right. up ball game. Yeah, it's not what a lot of people expected. I think, and it so. felt like a tied ball game the whole it, way. It has. It has felt close. It has felt like one side has been super dominant. As we said, Betis having the better of possession and pushing Chattanooga in their own half. But Chattanooga is still on the scoreboard getting in their first with Jano Costa's great goal. And so, yeah, one of the pieces not too, not too shabby against the team from La Liga versus Chattanooga FC. So, uh, quick shout out to the folks who are watching overseas and the folks who are watching other parts of the states i know some of the hooligans can't be here they're on the beach in florida so hi guys and uh, anybody else just say hi on social media and uh, we will keep you posted for the second half which has just got underway and uh, we've got beautiful sunshine great weather still in the high 80s so it's very warm down there on the field but uh, it's gonna be a great second half so how does it look to you lucas how are the betis gonna come out and attack now i know they've changed some players well out, a too. few changes and the yeah. man on the ball now hesse the Spanish international, 26-year-old. Most people know him from his time at Real Madrid. 63 appearances, 13 goals. Currently on loan from PSG. Made 14 La Liga appearances with Real Betis this season. He is in there now on the left side of the midfield. And plenty more changes that we'll update you as we move along in this game. And a switch here on the right sideline to Frances now in the ball game, And it's over the line and out of bounds for Chattanooga throw. So pretty much Chattanooga setting up as before with the... Right. Uh, the, the, the five at the back and uh, almost that part of the bus formation but uh, it may change Bill plays a very flexible formation he tells the players to you know something that's good go for it uh, when they're playing so that formation isn't certainly sitting concrete and now it's John Costa looking to play it into Valenciano it's knocked around and won not getting the touches there again that's part of the lack right. of soccer he didn't quite get the break and a lot of you could have been away from another shot on goal but, uh, but he's recovering fast Hesse on the left side, plays it in for Calderon. Calderon, his first touch of the game, trying to play it in, gets the bounce and puts it on the penalty spot where it's touched. And an attempt on goal, knocked out of bounds by Chattanooga. That was Robert, his first real attempt of the game, coming in after the halftime break. It's like Chattanooga put on Soren Uaszczyk. Soren Uaszczyk on the back line. And Real Betis will play in the corner kick from Hesse. I think that's going to change on C at the present time. Hesse drives it in on the sixth, and it's cleared away by Hernandez. A soft touch and put back into play. This time, Chattanooga will come out of it. Morias again, look at the speed he's got. Morias fighting off two oh, Real Betis well, defenders, ends up going to the ground, takes, earning a foul. Takes three of them to get him down. <laughs> that is a good move. Referee will bring the ball back. Chattanooga players looking to play on. Will be a free kick. About 10 yards off of the 18. Jordan Dunstan, the one who puts it down. There is a change in goal for CFC. We're trying to nail down who's the new man in net for the hometown team as he plays it over the top. Juan Hernandez on the touch. It's batted out by Emerson. Be a Chattanooga throw. I think that's Bennett Struts in goal. Bennett Struts. The German standing at a full six foot eight. Double check. Yeah, he's our, our reserve keeper today. And again, Costa making it used to himself there. New goalkeeper for Betis as well as Paulo Lopez. Now pushing up the left sideline. Calderon lays it off for Hesse. Hesse between the legs. Yeah. Gets past his man and puts it over the top onto the 18. Side? Flag is up. Yeah, it was offside, I thought so. So Marcus Smarzok and Soren Juhaszczyk entering the game for Chattanooga. Smarzok, another new face out of Germany, previously playing for Palm Beach United. And he's on the ball now, playing it back to Juhaszczyk. Juhaszczyk, nobody there, it's chested down by Calderon. Back to Emerson, 
and why to Francis. Middle of the field, Fidal still anchoring that back line. Mark Bartra has left the game. CFC have got uh, Webb and Oliveira warming up. They should come in later on in this half. So again, the pressure on the Bidis putting Chattanooga back in their own half, but uh, have to be cautious about the break. This is Emerson. Back to Fidal. Working with a yellow card here, booked in the first half on a challenge against Juan Hernandez. Now to Hesse. Going wide right, Frances plays it inside for Rodri. Back to Francis. Going back and forth. And now it's Robert. It's a loose ball picked up by Juan Costa. Costa trying to play on Caleb Cole and closing it down. It's Calderon. Now Rodri looking for an opening in the Chattanooga defense. This is Raul. Back to Abreu. Out wide, Calderon. Calderon putting a move on Cole, and Caleb Cole gets the better of him. Comes out with the ball, tries to pull it back. Calderon wins it back. It's with Abreu. Keeping it in the Chattanooga half. Capdom. Pressured by Hernandez, will play it back. Put it wide to Francis. Betis patient here, opening up the second half with the majority of the possession. Here's Powell. Calderon. Simon, this Betty side looking to be playing with more of a sense of urgency now as you see the reserves make their way onto the field. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. I think they want to make an impact. Long ball taking the top off to Francis, but it's short and it's cleared away. Torres there's pushing the back right in front of the referee. And they call it was Capdon. Valenciano push down there. Not a very subtle move. <laughs> Another Chattanooga free kick deep in their own half. Jordan Dunstan. Veteran on this team playing it across. But he has touches it in for Miachi. Finds his way on the right side to Calderon, who intercepts the pass intended for Cole. Again, yeah. Bet he's able to take the sting out of that, but uh, they know Chattanooga can break. Capdon. Looking to beat the Chattanooga defense, it's picked off by the center back, and now trying to find a free ball is Raul. Raul making contact with Cole. Caleb Cole getting in the way, and Caleb Cole smaller than him, but still brings him down. Cole, 5'8", 160 pounds. Yeah. The Pennsylvania native standing at... I think you expect to see Caleb Cole taking people down. Watch this, though. It's definitely seen. <laughs> Even though he's smaller, it uh, wins the battle that way. But, uh... So Raul's slow to get up. And it will be Chattanooga ball on a throw. And referee, yeah, not, not giving the foul. So. so we're inside the first eight minutes of this second half. Chattanooga a bit on their heels here. Tied with Real Batiste. Yeah, Real Batiste has certainly come out uh, with the intention of scoring more goals. Miachi flicks it on for Costa, who somehow gets it around. Two touches, but couldn't quite keep it in, but good, good play there. Out of bounds, Batiste ball. Hernandez putting the pressure on. Emerson plays it back for Powell. Trying to block uh, the back pass. It's going to come off, but Hernandez still running. Captain, he's gone the whole way so far for Batiste. Saw the captain, Joaquin, leave, and the threat down the left wing, Christian Teo. Much to the relief of the Chattanooga defense. And here's Abreu. Touches it inside, and a layoff at the top of the box is intercepted. Miachi emerges from the cluster, leaves it for Cole. Cole tries to put it in midfield for Costa, who can't get a good touch on it. And Real Betis will have possession with Fidal on the back line. Nice play for Miachi there. Taking on three defenders. I think Rodri's made the difference to the Betis attack. With his speed, he's obviously very quick. And, uh, he's got it now and plays it right to Francis. Yeah, he's, he's just a touch, touch, touch. He just does not stop. And uh, 
Speeds his way around Hernandez, but plays a bad ball to his teammate and is picked off by Chattanooga and stolen away again in midfield. Smarzok's got to make up his mind what to do. and uh, That was Robert who plays it in and away. closing it down is Bennett Strutz. Raul looking for the chance. And Chattanooga will build out of the back. Stolen away by Rodri. Morias gets it back. Chattanooga with the uh, good touches. Now here comes CFC. This is Gabby Torres. He's very good. He's really made with him as the midfield this season. Miachi to Cole. Cole unmarked. Who's he got open? Smarzoch and Hernandez and Costa. Chattanooga on the front foot. CFC looking to string together passes in the Real Betis half. Here in this second 45. Costa, look at that. Costa going for it. Costa. Costa just cannot get hold of that ball. But the idea was really good. Here's Capdon. Hesse. Certainly the most experienced player on the field here at a high level for Batiste. Scored a 75th minute against his former team, Real Madrid, in the win last week. Here's Francis. Over the top ball, played in, flag stays down. On the ball is Raul, plays it to the goal line, a sliding challenge from Dunstan, closes it down. Great play from Jordan Dunstan. Chattanooga. Trying to get away. In a dangerous area here. A scramble there, but... And is back with Rodri. Tries to force one in, it falls back to him. Francis. Rodri will put it across the pitch, left side, called it on. Unmarked, too. Trying to get, get tighten that marking. Cole's on him now, and he'll play it left to Hesse. Hesse. Trying to wiggle around US check, plays it back. Nice move by Calderon getting past Hernandez. Here's Capdon. Right side, Francis. Top of the box, Rodri. Getting it's past and away. has oh. one from there, just drifts over the crossbar. Yeah, I think a little frustrated they're not getting the service and having to shoot from outside the D. They aren't able to get into the 18 yard box and take the shot, which they want to do. So they're having to take the shot from further out. And that was dangerous. Couldn't get the dip enough over Struts. Watch the replay. It is dipping, but not quite enough, and Struts has got it covered. Dunstan. For Chattanooga. And ball picked off by Capdon. Betis can build up another attack. It's Abreu. Tries the one, two with Raul. Trickles out to Struts. And, uh, yeah. Struts able to calm things down a bit there on that Chattanooga reset. A lot of, uh, a lot of activity in that last five, ten minutes there, Lucas. Very quick. Very busy. A quick flurry from Betis, but we remain tied one to one. 58th yeah. minute here at Finley. Marias touches it upfield, plays it left to Dunstan, who plays it across midfield. But Chattanooga. Looking up for Costa again. Right they always work so well. And, uh, His yeah. dribble is thwarted Just by a bit, Francis. Bit too slow on that one, and uh, Benny's going to read it and take it off him. But uh, now Francis gets it to touch off a CFC yeah. player. Torres, It'll be a real Albertis throw. Torres holds it up, which is good defending again to slow him down. Emerson. Play it across. Looks like Smarzok in there for Max Wilshry as Juan Costa moves to the top at that number nine spot. Bennett Strutz punts it across midfield and Costa. In a tugging match with Fidal, a fight for the ball. Caleb Cole, sliding challenge, unable to put his feet on it. It will be a Chattanooga free kick. Foul called against uh, Betis for that one. Chattanooga getting ready to bring the subs up towards the halfway line. Juan Hernandez. Give some of these guys a rest, I think, who has uh, been working hard in that heat. Cole, touch from Cole. touches it 
Nice sets Costa off. Falling for Costa, flag and is up. And of course offside, you know it, but uh, good idea from Chattanooga, good attack. But uh, Costa a few steps offside there. Now it's Rodri. They'll have to go back for the free kick. Yeah, the free kick has to be taken where the offence occurred rather than just in the general area. Some of the referees are at slide, but most of them at this level should be making them take it pretty much where it happened. Cup dome. Uh, it's he's been a bit slow. Chattanooga put pressure on Hernandez, steals it. Juan Hernandez. Looking for someone to pass the ball to. Back to good old Jordan Dunstan, who is very slow at the back. Chattanooga keeping it again. Valenciano pulled down. Back at the feet of Emerson now. <clears throat> Do not. Valenciano in a bit of distress. I think he's going to get up, but he's very cool. So play goes on. Betis coming down the left side. So Hesse. 26 year old puts it in for a braille. Now back to Emerson. Patient approach from Betis here. We're 60 minutes gone at Finley Stadium. Ball floated in from Francis and, and it carries. Far too deep, isn't it? Bouncing over the line for a yeah. goal kick. Yeah, far too deep. Again, a little frustration from Betis. They can't get in close enough to get a good shot in. But again, they know to be patient. They've. Uh, Played this game so many times. I'm not going to uh, give up just because of that. Struts will keep it on the ground for Dunstan. And now it's Valenciano touching it in for Hernandez, who loses it to Francis. Now Francis under pressure. Rodri puts it it was Rodri, rather. Yeah. Goes out of bounds. Betty's ball. This is Francis throwing it in. Puts it on the back line for Emerson. Now Fidal. Here's Jose Calderon. Got a chance to talk to him in the pregame, his first time in the U.S. And ball across here for Robert. Chattanooga keeping that solid back line. You can see that. Playing to the offside and uh, just covering the whole of the 18-yard line, not letting Betis get into the box. Calderon, Betis switching back and forth here. Gets a 1-2 from Hesse and tries to flick it back, and he finds his man. Nice touchback miscommunication there, again. And it's back at the feet of Abreu to clean it up. Hesse. Rodri back to Hesse. Surrounded by three Chattanooga defenders. Forces a free kick. Uh, dangerous place again on top of the D. That's what we have in the first half. Real Betis yeah, will have a go at this one. Yes, and the chance will. to take the lead. Yes, they will do. We'll see who lines up over it. Imagine it would be Hesse. Watch the foul again. Watch the foul again. Yeah. Sonia has Jack taking him out there. We were getting ready to bring on three subs. So it's, uh, you see Felipe Oliveira, Alan Webb, and Mason Walsh. And Mason Walsh lining up to come into the game. So. Will be Hesse standing over the Real Betis free kick. Hesse, on loan from PSG, has made trips to Las Palmas, Stoke City, and Real Betis just in the past couple of seasons. Trying to get the wall organized. I say 80 yeah, appearances say, uh, with the Real Madrid youth team. He's a dangerous free kick taker. And it's just off the 18 yard box. Trying to get him 10 yards back. I'm not sure it's quite 10 yards, but near enough. There's a new rule coming in next year where they can't have uh, teams. Players from the team taking the kick in the wall. Hesse will have a go over the crossbar safely for Struts. So that rule's not in effect this year just yet. But uh, yeah, again, same thing. Too close in almost to get the shot to, d to duck down. So they can't uh, make it happen. So again, uh, opportunity for Betis goes begging. Let's see Chattanooga swap out. And who's Betis? I don't know if he changes or not. So he's coming out. So two new faces included in this Chattanooga sub with Alan Webb and Mason Walsh. Felipe Oliveira, CFC fans know well. They will take out João Costa, Juan Hernandez, and Caleb Cole. Oliveira will put on the captain's band. And here comes Webb, the Welsh native, 25 years old. It's his debut with Chattanooga. 
an all-around player that Bill Elliott and Peter Fuller are quite excited about. He'll head over to that right side while Oliveira will head to the striker spot. Yeah, absolutely. We know Felipe of old, so we've got some out of Felipe if we think he's going to do something hot tonight. Let's hope so. <laughs> Mason Walsh steps in, also his Chattanooga debut, mm -hmm. coming in from the Atlanta, I'm sorry, from New Orleans, where he scored 13 goals in 13 games a season ago. Right. A lot of attack bolstering this Chattanooga team with the new signings. Let's see what fresh legs can do for Chattanooga. Scott's staying calm there. Oh yes. The ball moving. Let's see if we've got some fresh legs here. Oliver is fresh. Here comes Chattanooga. Nobody That's there on the ball played ball, on. But it's nobody can reach that one. It's a bit too long for anybody to answer. But uh, Oliver taking Costa's place as the uh, lone striker. Kept on. Right side for Francis. Walsh, not holding back. Walsh puts on the pressure, Francis spins away. Yep. Walsh in the back of their own half. That's all I want to see from midfielder. Keeping the pressure on so they don't break too easy. And this is Emerson. And Fidal. Abril. Here's Capdon. Capdon, part of the Barcelona Youth Academy in his youth. 22 year old from Cameroon. Floats it in over the top. He had Robert running in, but it's cleared away. Johnson there again. It's that man, Smiles Och. Long ball, trying to set. Uh, it's played back for Powell. Let's see, let's see it, uh, now Fedal. Gets the ball from his goalkeeper, will push it upfield. Swings it across for Francis. A good touch. And he puts it wide for Rodri. Rodri guarded by Walsh. This is Abreu. Touches it past for a 1-2 with Hesse. Abreu, a big touch towards the goal line. Cleared away by U.S. Check for a corner. Good, good challenge, yeah. Clean challenge from Serena Check in the penalty box. Not giving the penalty away or anything stupid. So, let's see how... Uh, Betis do from this corner. Corner kick. Back in the play quickly. Betis trying the same tactics again. Rodri plays it in, oh, looking for a header, and he finds one in Frances, but it's wide right. It's a goal kick for Chattanooga. Good defending. So uh, Chattanooga get a chance to reset there, but yeah, Betis playing a lot of the same tactics. Not able to get in as close as they want to for the shot. They're taking shots from further out, which I'm sure they don't want to be doing. Chattanooga can keep them out of the box. That's going to be in their favor. We'll welcome Chattanooga chairman Tim Kelly onto the broadcast here in a moment, talking about the process of getting La Liga to Chattanooga, Tennessee. So long ball is played up in the air by Emerson. Now it's touched down by Robert. Robert. Trying to break. Dunstan again, not letting him get past him. Plays it in for Hesse. Hesse on the 18. Has, has a man to beat. Dunstan takes a touch. He's at the penalty spot. Dunstan. Fires it. Left oh. post. Goal. Real Betis. There's that goal they were been threatening to get. Hesse Rodriguez, the class shown by the former Real Madrid striker. Two goals and 14 appearances for Real Betis this season. One of them came against Real Madrid last Saturday. And another one coming against Chattanooga FC today. In the 68th minute, Betis taking the lead. But they've been putting on a lot of pressure. Watch this replay. And Struts can't hold it, pushes it into the side of the net. And... Uh, that's 2-1 to Betis. Chattanooga resetting themselves, getting a quick huddle and talking about this, but a uh, nice goal, nice move there from Betis. What you would expect from a team this calibre. So uh, Chattanooga back on the back foot after having the lead initially. Well, pure class there from a player with loads of Champions League experience. Absolutely, you can't argue with that. And Hesse puts Real Betis in front. 2-1, 69th minute here at Finley Stadium. All right. Let's see what Chattanooga do after that. On the back line with Morillas. At midfield, it's flicked to the right. Let's do a Chattanooga. Here comes Chattanooga over the top, left side, to Mason Walsh. Mason Walsh. He's got Mon on, he's got Rodri on him. His first few touches as a CFC player. Walsh spinning away from Rodri, able to get it on the other side of the box, and... Over to Webb. Webb can't get hold of it, but still keep possession. Webb going up against Calderon. Spins away from Webb him. Comes back. Top of the box. Miachi. Touched Miachi. To the box. 
Let's see, it's breaking it down. Chattanooga looking threatening there. Trying to get the quick equalizer. Rodri. Rodri the move as he skips past the Chattanooga players and gets taken down. Free kick for Betis. Getting around Gabriel Torres, forcing the foul. And he puts it back into play for Abreu. Here's Capdon at midfield for Betis. This has been more of the half that we expected from the Spanish side. I think so, yeah. Patient, possession, yeah, and more scoring chances here. It's paid off, and that's what you would expect. Whether they'll go for another goal or not, we shall see. The Chattanooga need to get something back out of this. And they're not, not uh, overawed, are they? They're not just sitting back. See how the fresh legs work out for Chattanooga. We uh, left the Chattanooga squad stretching. I don't know if they want to get on and say they played against Real Batiste too. I know I would do. Here's Emerson. The Brazilian low knee gives to Rodri. Rodri touches it to Robert, spins away. Now a ball forward. Still this is for Raul. Two Chattanooga defenders on him. He plays it out to Francis. Francis touches in for Rodri, cleared away by Dunstan. Several times that's happened today, and Miachi tries to put it away and puts it out of bounds. Seventy first minute, Betis two, Chattanooga one. The Hesse goal is the difference here as the Spanish side leads here at Finley. That's right. And now here's Robert. Trying to find his way into the box and doing too much. It's cleared away and back at the feet of Rodri. At this point in the DC game on Wednesday night. The Over the top in for Hesse. Hesse one oh, touch the upper right well, corner. There is again. Well, they scored three. I had to put the curse on that, didn't I? But uh, <laughs> Hesse getting a great touch right across the goal into the upright. And uh, that's their third goal. Well, Hesse Rodriguez has come in at halftime, made an instant impact. With the game deadlock one to one, putting two in the back of the net, it's three to one Betis here in the 72nd minute. Watch this replay. Just gets that touch on it, right across Struts. Can't do anything about that one. And it's bouncing around the back of the net. Jesse Rodriguez, the 26 year old Spaniard, extends the Betis lead. And Chattanooga trails by two. We've got a lot more action to come in this, in this uh, last few minutes. I'm not uh, can't take my eyes away from the screen, Lucas. It's uh, it's a lot to happen here, and I don't think Chattanooga are done yet. So Felipe Oliveira will kick it off here, trailing by two goals. Back to Valenciano. Now you us check. moving here. Smarzok pressured. It's out of bounds off of Gets Betis. A quick, a quick throw, throw here. Trying to get Webb off. Webb is not able to get hold of it, but the, the clearance is bad. And yes, Melchi is going to play it through the Oliveira. Oliveira is trying to find space for a shot. Back to Webb. Webb puts box. it across, looking for a head oh, on it, and Miachi was right oh. there, and it just skipped past just him. Just a few inches away from his forehead. Wow. Good move from the midfielder. 73rd minute, Chattanooga 3, Real Betis 1. And the best chance of the second half from CFC. Across the net, Miachi couldn't make contact. It's out of bounds for a Betis throw deep in their own territory. It's a good opportunity here for Chattanooga to push Betis back into their own half. Francis will put it in play. Go on to the, if they can go on to the front foot, this would be a good time to do it. Throw in off the head of Valenciano. That's Marias. Marias puts it across for U.S. check. Soren Uas check, right side. Yeah. Touching it forward. And cutting it back. There's Webb. Enjoying himself on the wing. Nice Valenciano, a heavy oh. touch and trying to chase it down. Calderon gets there first. Now Frances will play it back to Powell. So Betis absorbing a mini Chattanooga flurry there. Look to build up another attack. Long ball down the right side of the field, intended for Rodri. He lays down the touch. Rodri, with the left foot, puts it top of the box. Robert 
deflects off a Chattanooga defender and it rolls safely to Struts. Just crowded out there by the Chattanooga defense. They got that fast and uh, they really took care of business there. So Bennett Struts punts it deep across the midfield line. Oliveira fighting for the ball. Header is won by Emerson. Back to the feet of Dunstan. Back to Struts. And the German plays it forward for Morillas. Quick touch to Miachi. Here comes Chattanooga. Space from Miachi driving them forward again. Has to play it left. And it's played out of bounds. Rodri, good defending there. Again, Torres in good shape, but uh, ball getting away from there. It's a water break on the uh, 75th minute. So, uh, yeah, great game so far. Really enjoying this. Chattanooga now, not, not laying down at all, are they? Here comes Tim Kelly, chairman of Chattanooga FC, as the Real Betis and CFC players take their break. A crisp 88 degrees here in East Tennessee. And Tim, appreciate you coming on with us. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks for having me. As we've got a little break of the action here, let's recap on how Chattanooga FC and NPSL squad brought a La Liga team to East Tennessee to play a soccer game in Finley Stadium. Give us the Reader's Digest version of how Sheldon Grizzle got this done. Um, well, uh, a miracle. How about that? <laughs> I mean, it, it, we're, we're, we're all amazed and gratified that it's happening. I mean, La Liga has been very supportive of what we're trying to do, you know, in independent soccer in the United States and, and, and really advocating for a more open system. I was just uh, at a Leaders in Sport conference in New York, and Boris Gartner, the North American head of La Liga, was, was quite candid about um, his, his belief that, uh, you know, that an open system is best for soccer. Uh, in the world, and so um, you know, we're we're very fortunate. Sheldon was at a Soccer X conference in Miami and had the opportunity to to put the game together, and it you know it, it came together. It wasn't a cheap game for us to do, but we really felt like it was the right thing to do mm -hmm. for us. And uh, you know, frankly, we've we've had more expensive exhibition games, so I think it's a win-win for both teams. It's just a great experience for everyone to have a team like this come to Chattanooga. That's pretty. Whatever the result is, it's just great. No, it's pretty incredible. Us. I mean, I'm glad we were able to stay on the field with them. Mm -hmm. um, those last two goals were, <laughs> were, at, a, were at a different level. Uh, but, I mean, again, you know, we'll see how the scoreline ends up. Uh, we've had some great chances as well, and I think, I think we've earned their respect at the minimum. So, um, you know, it's been a great experience overall. Well, we talked throughout the whole broadcast, and Bill Elliott, frankly, was unabashedly saying, we're parking the bus here. And as Chattanooga, maybe an attack here, squaring it up across, and it's collected by Powell. And Bill Elliott was pretty candid about it. He said, you know, we know what we're getting into, but how about Juan Costa putting Chattanooga in front in a one-to-one -one game at half? Yeah, no, it was incredible. I uh, took a picture of that, put it on Twitter, and said, you know, I can, like, die a happy man now. Just, like, <laughs> the fact that we were, you know, almost half, almost half. Yeah. It was even tied at half against Real Betis is just uh, incredible. Uh, it's just a fantastic moment for um, Chattanooga FC and for um, independent clubs like ours across the country and, uh, you know, and uh, for American soccer generally. Well, Tim, thank you for joining us. This thank has you. been phenomenal, and Chattanooga certainly is making their mark on Real Betis fans over in Spain, and hope so. hopefully there are more to come. I hope so. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, Thanks, thank Tim. you, Tim. Thank you so much. Tim Kelly, chairman of Chattanooga FC, telling us how the 10th place team in La Liga arrived here in Chattanooga at Finley Stadium, where they lead 3-1 to one in the 78th minute. Quite a story. Looked over the top. It's Kyle it on, squaring up with Uos Jack. He'll pull it back, head to the top of the 18, where he plays it back for Kapta Ohm. Now Kapta Ohm touches it back to midfield. On the right side with Emerson. Francis. Back with Rodri. Rodri. Yeah, that deep ball again. They keep playing that deep ball. But uh, doesn't, this time doesn't come off and Bennett's trying to gather it. Gets it on the bounce and will put it into play for CFC. Does Chattanooga have another one left in them? It's Felipe Oliveira up top for the team in blue. If anybody's got a goal in it's Felipe Oliveira. So... <laughs> Gabby Torres see what he does. puts it back for Dunstan. Towards midfield, Oliveira fighting for the header. It's won by Emerson right back to Chattanooga. And now a collision, a free kick, CFC. It was Francis yeah, getting tangled around. up with Walsh. Yeah, 
They weren't giving up, were they? The physicality has not gone down here at Finley. We're in the 79th minute. Jordan Dunstan on top of the ball for Chattanooga. Bringing it forward back to Dunstan. And that's intercepted oh, by Rodri. Yeah, Betis quick. may have numbers here. Rodri so approaching the box, left side, plenty of space for Robert. Robert squares it across and it's bounced Rodri. to the penalty spot oh. where Rodri finishes it off. Put it right into his into under his boot and he couldn't miss from there, could he? Bottom right corner, Real Betis four, Chattanooga FC one in the 80th minute. Yeah, we put a ball like that right under Rodri's feet. He's not going to miss from there, is he? He's made an instant impact coming in at halftime. He really has. And now we'll have more Chattanooga subs as Cameron Woodfin lines up at midfield along with Nathaniel Bedai, affectionately nicknamed Bongo for his skill on that instrument. All right. Out of the University of Mobile, has that connection with assistant coach Peter Fuller won two national championships in Mobile. Well, Torres coming off. Torres will come off along with Morias. Morias, they have both run themselves crazy all night. I'm not surprised they've both worked so hard. So Woodfin will man that left side as Bedai heads to the right back spot. Woodfin, the ETSU graduate, nearby in Johnson City. Right, so his fresh legs do. It's on the back line with Dunstan. And Valenciano. Back to Struts, Chattanooga. Ten minutes here to try and get another one against the Spanish Giants, Betis. Dunstan, a powerful oh, header, rockets the ball across midfield, and now it's flicked back by oh, Fidal. Powell is outside of the box, pressured up. by Oliveira. Oh. And Emerson puts one off Oliveira's head. Woodfin coming in hard there, and uh, Chattanooga trying to get the ball back. Play goes on. Valenciano. To Walsh. Walsh, left side, Oliveira. Oliveira Touches it in, leaves it for Walsh. Walsh, Walsh surrounded by Betis defenders. Woodfin, his first touches, he's in the corner. In for Walsh. Walsh against two Betis defenders, keeps the ball and it's flicked out. It will be off Betis for a corner kick. CFC corner, good play there from Mason Walsh and Cameron Woodfin. 82nd minute. Walsh has certainly made an impression as he came on. It's Chattanooga four, Real Betis one. The last 10 minutes. More goals coming, Lucas? We'll find out here soon enough. 82nd minute, ball in, it's in front, and it's deflected out near the top of the box. Still in play, a collision. And a firing shot from Woodfin goes off a of Betis player, a man down inside the box. A bit of a collision there, and that was definitely a coming together of heads. That's Robert, who appears to be hurt and being helped up. So Chattanooga making some dangerous action in the box there in the 82nd minute. Chattanooga not laying down at all. Look at that ball bouncing around the box and no one can get to it. Woodfin wow. looking to get a shot off and might have had some power on it, but a Betis player was in the way. So Jordan Dunstan will have the Chattanooga throw. The defender will back up all the way to the wall looking to rocket it into the box. Here it comes, straight to the head of a Betis defender. That was Abreu putting it out of play. Now Miachi looking to clean it up. It's picked off by Calderon. Counterattack from Betis, but Miachi closes it down. Good recovery from Miachi there. Stayed calm under pressure. Back to Struts, who plays it forward, and it's missed by Bedai, but played straight back in for Struts. So Chattanooga doesn't pay for the turnover. Nathaniel Bedai, the defender at Ghana International. In the game now at right back. Here's Miachi. Valenciano. Good ball there. One touch over the top on the right in. side. Moving forward, putting a move on Calderon oh, and penalty. falling over in the box. No. Yes, penalty. Yes, it was. Chattanooga will get an attempt from the spot. Yeah. Calderon, a very bad challenge in the box there. Very clearly a penalty kick. Man, his man got around him. Collision in the box. Calderon came in late, did not get ball. That is Joan Johanning, who
who took the fall, and it'll be Alan Webb Alan. taking the penalty kick in what could be his first goal for his CFC. first career Chattanooga what goal. To, what a way to start off the man from the land, doesn't it? <laughs> Went to Lynn University, 5'860 pound, Welsh 25 year old. Will set up with the right foot in the 85th minute, trailing 4 to 1 to Betis, and has a chance to have his first career goal come against the La Liga side. You feel the pressure, can't you, on Alan Webb? Alan Webb Bang. knocks it in. <laughs> Chattanooga cuts the Betis lead to two, and Alan Webb opens up his account with CFC. So, 4 2, Alan Webb from the penalty spot. Look at that. Watch this again. Keeper goes wrong way, buries it in the back of the net. What a great penalty kick. Well played, Mr. Webb. Yaki da, sir. Yaki da. <laughs> As they say in Wales. Very good. So, Alan Webb, moments after coming on, picks up his first career CFC goal, and Chattanooga trails by two. Now, CFC boosted from that. Here's Francis for Betis. Pushing forward across midfield. Pulls it back, plays it to the back line for Emerson. And out of all the newcomers, Webb, one of the ones that excites Bill Elliott, Peter Fuller the most. Pace and an all around player that will bolster this attack as they move on to the NPSL season, taking on Georgia Revolution next Saturday. Here's Kapdoum. Quick one two with Hesse. And he's back in midfield. Emerson to Rodri. Now here's Robert. Right sideline Francis. Betis playing the possession game in the final few minutes. Abreu at midfield for Fidal. Hesse. Two quick goals for the Spanish international after coming on at the half. It put Betis ahead, but Chattanooga gets one back on the Allen Webb penalty kick. Rodri with the left foot. Puts it in the box, a perfect ball for Calderon, but the flag goes up. Yeah, easily offside there. Spaniard got a quick jump. Be a Chattanooga free kick in the 87th minute. Time ticking down here at Finley. We'll have a few more subs for CFC. Everson Lima yeah. lining up along with Abraham Lansana making his Chattanooga debut. Ball chested down by Fidal. It's at the feet of Calderon. Capdoum. Right side for Francis. Francis pulls it back, pressure. Ball knocked out of play. It'll be a Betis ball with Valenciano with the pressure. Zeca Fejas going to make his entry as well, taking out Felipe Oliveira. Yep, yeah, looks like Zeca coming on. He'll put on the captain's band. Fejas, a newlywed. That's right. Just getting back from his honeymoon. Got a chance to talk to him in the pregame. Asked him if he's in shape to go up against the La Liga side as he says hello to his Brazilian compatriot Emerson. And he said, I'm not quite sure, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> he's got two minutes to do just that. And the 88th here, trailing by two. So Dunstan and Miyaki and... Is that Samarzov coming off to him? It is. Those guys deserve a rest, well played. Very good play indeed. And uh, well, Weedon Roth in the goal now for, Jer for CFC as well. 89th minute here. So everyone's getting a spell, the goalkeeper's all getting a rotation. So. Here's Francis. Emerson. Zeka puts the pressure on Rodri, who placed it all the way back to Powell. Fidal. With 
wide left. Now it's back to Fidal. Fresh legs paying off. Getting the, uh, get some pressure on the defenders for Messi's. Right at midfield is kept on. In the 89th minute. Not sure much time on add-ons for injuries. Not too much, I wouldn't have thought. We head into the 90th with Betis in possession. Capton. Back to Fidal. Steps across midfield, plays it to the left for Calderon. Rodri, a one-touch flick to the left sideline where it's intercepted. And he flicks it back into play, right at the feet of Smarzok. See, John Lucas took all the confidence to make the flicks on there. Woodfin. Touch to Walsh from Woodfin. Find some space. Jack Walsh Lewis presses into the box. Walsh trying to get through first. Runs too right slow, into Emerson. Too slow to get dispossessed. They should have taken the shot there. So Francis comes away with it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Chattanooga got the confidence to keep making those flicks and still pressing. They're not, uh, you know, put back at all or uh, feeling they're not good enough to play. They're uh, dealing with what they've got when they get a chance. Well, we're into the final few minutes of extra time with Betis leading Chattanooga 4-2. Capdaum. Now at the back with Fidal plays it to Emerson. It's that long ball again, headed on, but nobody there, and Boudinot picks it up. It was Raul putting it in the air and now? A deep punt from Bindenroth. So as the clock ticks down, Chattanooga FC. Chattanooga gets you getting a foul in uh, Betis' half, getting it moving quickly. Trying to get something happening here. Everson Lima, his first touches. The Brazilian international plays it over the top, down the right side. A fight in the air, Calderon wins it over Alan Webb and can't track it out of bounds. We'll stay Betis' ball. We're at the end of the first minute of extra time. Expect a whistle any moment now as Emerson plays it back. Now this one's intercepted. Webb intercepts it, stumbles over a little bit. But, uh, Webb's one on one with the Braille. See what he can do. And he gets, gets past him, gets taken to yeah, the ground. Chattanooga will have a free kick. Another foul in the dangerous place. Alan Webb's getting good at drawing those fouls. So, see the referee uh, over the play there. So in the dying moments of the game, Chattanooga will have a chance to whip it in. Mason Walsh getting over to take the free kick. With uh, Johanny. The towering Everson Lima standing right on the penalty spot next to Zeka. That's why he's there, Lucas. Because <laughs> he's so tall. <laughs> standing at 6'1", 177. Something tells me 6'1", is not quite accurate. No, I think so. He's bigger than that. That's his official listing. Here and here it comes. Oh, off the crossbar, cross and it's batted down by Powell. The goal gets knocked off the goal line, and it's knocked in. He's in, yes. Goal, Chattanooga. That was given. The goal is given. In the Back. extra waning moments. Goal scramble. Wow. Goal scramble in extra time. The goal will go. I think he's going to Everson Lima. To Everson Lima. I think so. <laughs> So he's gone from a red card in the previous game to a goal in this one. Amazing. Was a cluster in front of the net. The goal was knocked off the goal line, and here it is, off the crossbar. It's all over. Zeka got a head on it, and I believe it might go to Zeka. I think it was Lima's final touch. We will see. That's the final whistle while we debate the goal. The game ends 4-3 to CFC. I mean, to real, well, wishful thinking. Real bit is 4, <laughs> Jan Nuga 3. But uh, close at the end, and uh, a good result. A great game to watch, Lucas. I really enjoy watching that. Uh, I enjoy the teams being friendly and coming together, and you know, the fans being friends with this one. And uh, everybody had a good night tonight. Uh, almost result, almost doesn't matter. It's just been a great, great game to watch. But uh, yeah, four three to Betis in the end. Uh, Chattanooga taking the lead, holding the lead right up until half time. Then they equalised from Leon, then uh, three in a row from Yesa and Rodri restoring normal service in uh, Betis' favour, but uh, penalty there, Alan Webb taking advantage of the penalty, banging it in the back of the net, and then Everson Lima right at the death, getting 
getting that third goal. So 4-3, not a disgraceful result for Chattanooga at all. Not at all. CFC came out in the first half. Really were the better team for long stretches. Joan mm -hmm. Costa opened up the scoring, and it was a late equalizer at halftime, but Betis came out in the second half. Clearly the better team, at least for the first 30 minutes. Hesse showing his mm -hmm. class with right. two quick goals. But then Chattanooga getting one back with a scramble in front of the net, resulting in a goal to make it a 4-3 to three game, and that is the final here at Finley Stadium. Absolutely. A good result. I'm sure uh, Batista enjoyed their short tour of the States and uh, didn't have an easy time tonight. They had to work hard to get the result they got. So uh, very enjoyable indeed that, and hope you enjoy watching it at home now. Back to regular NPSL play next weekend when Georgia Revolution Cup here from Atlanta. And uh, that game's at 7.30. Uh, regular, regular tickets, regular prices, regular kickoff time. So uh, back to NPSL play. This has been a fabulously great diversion. As Tim Kelly told us, just by chance that we managed to make contact with Real Batiste. They were willing to come here to Chattanooga and play us. So uh, thank you to Real Batiste for being uh, great visitors. And thank you everybody who's been watching for you know, being here with us tonight. It's been a, a very you know, full stadium and a lot of people here. It's been a great evening, Lucas, and uh, thank you for joining me tonight. Certainly. It was a good time and maybe a once-in-a-lifetime mm -hmm. opportunity, but yeah. we had Tim yeah. Kelly in here, and yeah. <laughs> who knows what other right. competition right. will be coming to East Tennessee <laughs> to take on Chattanooga. Right. Final score, Real Betis 4, Chattanooga 3 mm -hmm. here at Finley. Right, absolutely. So we're going to sign off and leave you to it. Enjoy the rest of your evening, but so thank you for staying with us. As we said, Back to regular play next week with George Revolution at Finley Stadium. We will see you there with commentary and all the pre-game stuff. So thanks very much, folks, and uh, have a great evening and a great Memorial Day weekend. Good night.